So we are going somewhere special today. We're going to a very big, very nice, very new, very modern car factory in Singapore. And you might think, is there even a car factory in Singapore? Well, check it out. This is where we're going today. Yeah, so we're going to the Hyundai Moto Group Innovation Center Singapore or Hmgx. <laughs> okay, let's go. I don't actually know what we're gonna to do today. Um, uh, Nigel, and sh shout out to Nigel for arranging all of this. And uh, he was kind enough to arrange this tour this afternoon. And uh, from what I understand, we're gonna do some sort of uh, a tour of the of the, the factory facility. We're gonna visit a sustainable garden of sorts. And um, we are also gonna visit the Sky Track. I won't say too much about the Sky Track at the moment. You'll see for yourself later. But it's gonna be a pretty exciting part of the tour. And at the end of it all, I'm going to leave my trusty BMW over at Hyundai and I'm going to bring home a Hyundai Ioniq 5 for the weekend. Uh, and then of course then we'll shoot our reviews, we'll take our photos, so on and so forth. But uh, I don't actually know what what the entire tour entails one after the other. We'll just have to go and see, see what happens there. I, do, I don't even know if we're going to be alone, whether we're going to be with other people. Uh, are we going to say some silly things? I'm not so sure. Um, but uh, let's take that 22 minute drive over to the west of Singapore and see what happens. Is it real? No, it's not real. It's like just some mannequin standing there. It's so strange. For an East Sider coming here, it feels like I need my passport. Um, <laughs> sorry, West Siders. <laughs> But you know, in all honesty, uh, driving a 14-year-old uh, uh, inline 6.2.5 litre naturally aspirated BMW here, I almost feel a bit guilty because this place is supposed to be like all about sustainability. But good thing is that I'm going to drive out in, in, in an Ionic 5 and not just any Ionic 5 but a made in Singapore Ionic 5. So for those of you who don't know, um, this centre here actually builds cars and uh, some of the Ionic 5s and Ionic 6s that are used in Singapore are built right here in Jurong West. Pretty cool, huh? I don't know where to go. Uh, you want to go to B1? Yes. Parking, right? uh, you have a season parking? Yeah. Okay, uh, go straight, then drive. Okay. <laughs> he could have just said, follow the road. I literally just cut it last night. Can I do it? Can I do it? Oh my god, this is... One eternity later. This feels like something like that like a home barista would be really interested in. Like when you put the coffee into the group header and then it was like they say this for plants. What does that even mean? So uh, apparently Singapore has this uh, agricultural blueprint where they want to increase local food produce. 
from current 10% to 30% by the year 2030. And it is going to be technologies such as this that are going to help Singapore achieve that goal. Uh, sponge that is grown on and then after that you can just grab the sponge and pull up. Oh. Yeah. No sound. So, so far we've been through the uh, hydroponics portion of it and uh, I think that's probably like a sort of a uh, uh, depiction of how the whole entire Hyundai Moto Innovation Group uh, is partaking in this whole sustainability effort. Uh, I'm not sure what's next, but uh, I think we'll probably see some of the restaurants, like so there's this famous Korean restaurant that I think uses some of the sustainable, the grown ingredients within this compound. Um, but yeah, let's just follow the tour again. Follow our trusted tour guide and see what happens. This is a, so this is a raw vegetable bu buffet. Do you need to try it? Nice. <laughs> I mean, I've never eaten raw sorrel. <laughs> they, want, they want the texture is special. Mm. Try it. It's, try like, it. it's like furry. No, no, no. It's, a, it's nice crystals on the outside. Yeah. Oh, yeah. crispy. No, no, no. Oh, is it? Some of you actually uh, yeah, I guess that's why they call it ice plant. They can know what to uh, the So this 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 thing that you see here is basically right, so now let's proceed on, uh, and Ionic 5 on steroids because this is built in Singapore and it's being used as a like the, like the driverless taxi in Las Vegas is already in use, so no joke here. So this was signed by Mr. Lawrence Wong, Deputy Prime Minister. Shout out to Mr. Lawrence Wong, now the PM. A smart farm, so now is where we have a better understanding of our smart factory. Okay, so this experience is designed to, thanks to self production, we are able to. So, we just finished the uh, VR factory tour um, of the or VR tour of the smart factory here at Hyundai, and it's pretty interesting. Um, so we wore a VR headset and showed us how the manufacturing process goes but to you know, sort of summarize it into a nutshell huge amount of automation uh, huge amount of different robots that kind of work together uh, in the same framework to minimize the need for human intervention and therefore the need for or minimize uh, errors in the manufacturing process so pretty cool and there's also, there's also this portion where uh, they showed us how whatever happens in real time is also replicated in a sort of a metaverse, a digital universe, and um, in the digital universe, the problems are also they also show up, and then problems or solutions to the problems are found, and then they are implemented back in real life. It's so super super cool. Probably the most advanced manufacturing facility um, anywhere you can find in the world. So there's this there's this um, like a like a robot dog called Spot as part of the manufacturing process. And it looks eerily similar to the one in Black Mirror. For those of you who have watched the series, like this, you know, this AI, or it's a, like, it's basically an AI, AI dog. And like, I'm so freaked out by it, I just, I just want to kick it when I see it. <laughs> the total length of the sky track is 618 meters. You can travel it up to a maximum speed of 83 kilometers an hour. Free centrifugal force to offset the effects of centrifugal force during high speed curves. Enabling fast, safe driving. 
All right, guys, so we are finally here at the Skytrack. And uh, I think this is probably the most exciting part of the tour. It shouldn't be, but it is. I mean, like, let's be real about it. Uh, so this is the car we're going to be driven in. And then um, we have a driver. I'm not allowed to drive the car. Uh, but let's jump in and then you'll get to see what we see from the perspective of Jackson's camera. Afternoon, boss. Does 80 kilometers per hour on this track feel like 80 kilometers per hour? Mm, Feels faster, right? Yeah, we'll see about that. <laughs> and there's always only one car at a time? Yes. Okay. Only one car is allowed at a time. Okay, and what car are we in today? So we are in uh, Ionic 5 today. Okay. Uh, inspiration model or wheel drive. Ooh. And inspiration is the uh, higher spec? Yes. Okay. I don't know what it feels like for you. What what the feedback on the wheel is? The feedback? Yeah, is it like does it feel Does it feel like the car is hitting limits? Mm, not really. Not, yeah, not really. Like. Yeah, it's still quite comfortable. Okay. So, this is what you feel like when it's slow speeds. Oh, it's even weirder at slow speeds, huh? Yeah, you don't feel the drop. I think you're gonna have an afternoon full of more screams. <laughs> Thank you, boss. Uh, thanks. No problem. Thank you. Thank you. So this is uh, where the factory site, the quality team, uh, this is where they test the vehicles. So they actually bring up completed vehicles and test them? Yes, because we have the car lifts over here. Ah. The three car lifts that are directly connected to the smart factory. Okay. So earlier on during the VR, you saw the last part. Yeah. To, yeah. So that is connected. Come up here and then straight into the track. Okay. But is it like a, do we? Is it a case where the actual production cars are brought up, or is it like a batch kind of thing? Like in this batch, we take one sample piece to test. Uh, as far as I know, it's every single car is tested here. Okay. Yeah. Because in the time in the time that uh, there is no tour here for the Skytrack experience. That is the quality team's time to test it. Right, and it's just like on like all the time. Yes. It's like almost the entire day they are, they are, they are running. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. Okay, understand. So usually when they test, they'll go around three to four rounds and then the last part is a brake test on the on the banking angle. So they'll right. just stop the car there and see whether it is. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, it's not just a tourist attraction and it's not just for fun. There is actually a functional testing purpose mm. for the track. So we have come to the end of our tour here at the Hyundai Moro Group Innovation Center Singapore, HM Jix. Uh, and I think it's been a really, really wonderful experience because not often do you get a chance to see what goes on behind the car. I mean, a lot of times, I mean, we collect test cars every single week, but not often do we get a chance to understand how the car was made, the processes that have gone into manufacturing the car. I think all of it is really, really insightful. And I think it gives you a deeper appreciation into the car that you actually get and drive. Uh, so I think this review is going to be extra special and also because um, this is our very very first interaction with Hyundai car on this channel. So hopefully more content to come from Hyundai uh, or in collaboration with Hyundai. So uh, very very excited about that. Alright so if you have enjoyed this video, please consider liking this video and subscribing to, to the channel. We hope to have more content like this for you on the channel. And as usual, please take care of yourself, stay safe and we'll see you next time. Bye bye.